Hi guys, there's a lot of new ways to charge the iPhone 15 this year. You can even use your iPhone to charge stuff like AirPods or another iPhone. So I'll get to that, and I'll also show you to put the battery in the top right. Alright, so first the main way to charge. This year Apple has gotten rid of lightning and went with the universal USB-C. They don't include the adapter with it, but I'll link it in the description. This is 20 watts and the maximum charging speed is 27. You can even use a much larger adapter such as the MacBook and any USB-C to C cable. Just plug it in. Alright, so now for the wireless charger. Now this is my personal favorite and I'll show why shortly. But the iPhone 15 supports any Qi wireless charger. Now if you have a MagSafe, so this is MagSafe, this is MagSafe, then it's going to charge twice as fast as regular wireless chargers. One advantage of the MagSafe is it's magnetic. And that's especially useful for the iPhone 15. So when it's charging and on an angle, then you have this new standby mode. I'll link in the top right if you want more info. Okay, so next using your iPhone to charge other stuff. So this is one big advantage of switching to USB-C because it's incredibly simple. Just plug in the USB-C and even if it's like lightning, you can plug it in. And you see the iPhone is going to charge the other iPhone. You can even charge your iPhone 15 with another iPhone 15. Now the only thing about this is it's kind of slow charging. Only 4.5 watts. It's extremely helpful if you want to charge your AirPods for example, but don't have an outlet. Final part to put the battery percent in the top right. So you can always swipe like that, but I prefer having it right there. So just go into your settings, then go to battery, and you see at the top battery percentage, just turn that on. And you guys, so there is to it. For more tips, just press in the top right. 